but yeah, welcome to BOA Amateur Division Season 2, Round 1 at Suzuka. Really good turnout, 20 drivers on the grid. Looks like we've got a good mix of manufacturers as well. Currently on board with Dan the Corgi driving the Lexus. his way around the hairpin. Drunken Kool-Aid, really good driver. Had a couple of practice races with him in the week. Really good driver, so expect moves from him. And Aston Martin, yep, yeah. Chris. Down to turn one then, difficult turn this one to get right, easy to understeer out wide. As soon as you get on those marbles it just drags you all the way out but he's done that nice and tidy. Into the S's. Double apex. This one, you want a good exit here for the long straight to follow. Just, just pulls to one side. Big man. Flash of the lights there. Say thank you. Up to 130 hour then. Over the line, what are we looking? He wants a 2027. He wants to beat that. Does he improve? He does. Improved by about 1.2 seconds there. Very good lap. Some on the second row. Currently in seventh. Driving the Audi R8. Cool livery. Like that green. So dodgy that inside curve, you've got to be so careful with it, especially at the speed that you go through that turn. Up to the hairpin then. And I wonder if I just take a, a different line to everybody. It seems to sort of take a, a wider line through that uh, hairpin. But if it works, it works. Coming around the last turn now, Red Apple in the Audi, any improve at all, he's in 7th. So it looks like he's, uh, he's not improved there. Mark and Chris currently in 13th, hard on the brakes, see those discs glow in. Apex there, very nice. Can he get pole position? We're looking for an improvement on a 202736. Apple currently in P7. Can he improve? Down to the line. He doesn't improve. We'll start P7 in the top 10. Match coming up then in the Bentley. Oh, it's just gone a bit deep there have to settle for P8. Pole position, Drunken Kool-Aid, followed by Stonkosaurus, Chris 18, down the Corgi in fourth, Sarge in fifth, RHM Hammer in sixth, Red Apple seventh, Patch P8, Dazzler P9, and Pitbits P10. That's your top ten. 
Lost Boy Neo in P11 and Sun Wings P12. 13th Marco Chris, 14th Guy Z, 15th Sidewood Note, Trenchtown Jeff in 16th, Bayside Snake 17th, Neil B 18th, Mix World 19th, and Nick Zombie RP 20. Hole position, Drunken Kool Aid, 2 minutes 2 seconds, 0.439. What a time! A couple of familiar faces on the grid, lots of new guys, which is really, really good. Lots of people joining the BOA community over the Christmas period, maybe receiving the game for Christmas and uh, finding us on the socials looking for a league. The online lobbies can get a bit, get a bit rowdy. No, we like clean racing here. So guys, welcome back to the BOA Amateur Division Round 1 at Suzuka. We've got Drunken Kool-Aid in the Porsche on pole position and we'll have Stonkosaurus alongside him in the Audi on the front row. Bunched up. Gotta love the sounds in this. So good, those engines man, awesome. Right, on the grid then, see the lights there, just waiting for that green. Round one at Suzuka. Green light, give it all you can. Here we go then, green lights and they're off. Drunken Kool-Aid's got an out front. Coming into turn one. Stonkosaurus looks like she's fallen back a couple of positions. Audi of Chris has made up into P2. All looks pretty clean, a bit of dirt back there. Can't see any offs just yet. Let's go to Unsung in P12. Still looks very clean and tidy. Unsung in the Lamborghini. Quick car, but a tricky one to drive. This is looking very good, very clean. Just a reminder guys, this is your amateur division, but they're looking pro at the moment. This is one of the cleanest starts I've ever seen. Okay, back on to uh, P1 then, Drunken Kool-Aid. Got a lead at just over five temps. Back straight up to 130R. They take it flat out. Hard on the brakes into the chicane. Yeah, from the curves, they do unsettle the car around the final turn then. Got Mark and Chris, 14th, closing in on Trenchtown ahead of him. Make a move into turn one. Quite close enough this time around. And here we've got a Ferrari off there, just overshot it into the gravel, but he's rejoined nicely. Dazzler closing in on and some wings ahead of him. Dazzler driving a Bentley. Right on the back of that Lambo, coming up to Spoon Curve. It's a good exit here. Is he alongside already? He's getting there. Is he brave enough to make it too wide through 130R? No, he tucks back in. Thought better of it. Still got a long way to go. No major incidents as of yet. Let's see if we can keep it that way. Down the corgi though. Look 
looking to make moves on the Aston ahead of him. Chris, keep his call cool under the pressure. KM Pancakes for all dear. Bit of contact there from Pancakes. Pancakes and Mercedes AMG. Right one at that. He's going to get through on that Bentley. He's just had a little off. Got a battle still going on. P2 down the Corgi in the Lexus. Looking to get in that slipstream. Looking flat through there. Getting as much time as you can. Hard on the brakes into the chicane then. Just missed that first apex a little. And some wings all over the back of Dazzler. Four and a half tenths behind. See the glow of those brakes. Not quite stopping him though as he goes a little bit wide through turn one. Keeps it on track though. And he'll regroup and look to catch back up. Spectacular racing happening here. You see a lot of these guys making their way up through the division. Some really good racing. What moves happening in the hairpin there? Is that Geisy? Close battle here for P7, 8, and 9. Dazzler right on the back of. It bits who in turn is all over Red Apple. Over the line then, coming down to turn one. How lame on the brakes do you dare go here? A lot of time to be made up. Let's head back to P1. little sideways through the Degna there. Oh, it sent him deep. That's given P2 the opportunity. Chris is making his way through. The cool ace not giving up. He will have to settle for P2 on this occasion though. The Lexus all over the back of him now. And the Corgi trying to uh, take advantage of that mistake from P1. Now in P2. So Chris and the Aston has uh, made his way up to the lead of the race. And the cool aid, two temps behind. Really kicking himself for that tiny mistake to be fair, but it's cost him. This is the battle for the race lead guys, P1, 2 and 3, all within four tenths of each other. Got P4 just in the background there, four, four seconds behind I believe. So jump on with Mixwell quickly, he's uh, pretty close to the car ahead of him. Driving a lovely pink Porsche there. jump back to the race lead, the battle for P1 here. Drunken Kool-Aid, been leading this race, tiny mistake has cost him first place. Now running in P2, down the Corgi closely behind in P3. Up to Spoon Curve then. Good exit, getting that slipstream. For 
Chris taking a slightly defensive line there, going to the inside, but moves back out to the racing line for turn one. Duncan Kool Aid looking to regain that lead. And the Corgi hanging on in P3. Looking for that opportunity, he's, he's not going to take any risks. I'll let them do the battle in and take advantage of any mistakes. We've got Hammer all over the back of Stonkosaurus. Loving that livery, looks very similar to mine actually. Very nice. Maybe a potential teammate in the team leagues there. Seven times behind Stonkosaurus. It's a bit closer than that down there. Drunken Kool Aid. Still all over Chris. I think he's regained it. He has. Takes P1 back. He's still there as well in P3. Not quite able to get through as well. He's still there. He's patient. He's just looking for any opportunity. Not taking any risks. He's on the podium at the moment. He doesn't want to make any silly moves. The drunken Kool Aid has regained the lead. The grey and uh, the brown colours are out in force. Well, the brown green anyway. Luminous green. Mates all over the back of Trench Town. Two temps. And then to the chicane around the final turn. Looking to get into that slipstream. We are halfway through. Not over yet. Dan has moved up into P2. So it appears Chris has had uh, an incident somewhere. He's got P4 closing in on him now. P5 right behind him. Chris unfortunately has gone from the lead to P3 in just the space of a couple of laps. He's still got all 14. 14 minutes to go though, so plenty of time to uh, regain those positions, just needs to get his head down, regroup, and it will be all over the back of Trench Town, through the hairpin. he has got a sideward note behind him. Nissan GTR, driven by sideward note, looking to make moves. Applying the pressure. That Ferrari looks a little sideways. That Aston's going to get alongside. Ferrari's compromised his exit there. Long straight. Are we going to be going too wide? No, the Ferrari cuts ahead. He holds on. Trench Town will keep 12 for now. Geisy looking to make moves. Is he currently running P15? Bayside Snake. Bobby LaRue's telling me Bayside Snake's having a good race. P18 making a couple of moves. Patch has made a, a pit stop as he, uh, he is exiting. I think he's, he's just looking to keep out of the way though, possibly. Door there. Do you have an issue? No, he does. No, he is moving. Just keeping out of the way of everybody. He's a couple of couple of laps behind, unfortunately. Dan running in P3 for a long time, just watching the battle ahead of him unfold and, and looking to capitalise on opportunities, and it's paid off for him. He's moved up into P2. Now he's looking to apply that pressure on Drunken Kool-Aid. Chris in P3. A 
Livingston a couple of laps ago. He's now got Hammer all over the back of him. Hammer driving the Bentley, good speed in that. Three tenths behind. Hammer closing in all over the back of him now. Is he brave enough or is he just going to hold back? Holds back. This is Chestnut Checkers. Quick play here, but he's, he's made the move in the breaking zone. Good move there. Sarge closing in on uh, Lost Boy. I think he's actually dropped back a little bit now. Bayside looking to make a move down on Lost Boy Neo. He looked at the inside, but he thought better of it. Drunken Kool-Aid out in P1 with Dan the Corgi close behind in P2. RHM Hammer in P3 with Chris in P4. Stonksaurus P5, Red Apple P6, and some Wings P7. Cakes in P8, Pit Bits in P9, and Mark and Chris in P10. Riding on board with Bayside Snake driving a Ferrari. He's looking to close in on Lost Boy Neo ahead of him. Dassler in P11, Neil B, P12, Trenchtown 13th, Sidewood Note 14th, Dicey in 15th. Looking to close the gap up to Sidewood Notes. Sergeant 16th, Lost Boy Neo 17th, Bayside Snake 18th, Mixed World 19th, Patch in P20. Chris looking to regain positions. He's running in the top three for a large portion of this race. He's just dropped out. He's looking to make those positions back. He's got Stonkosaurus right behind him. I was thinking. You've had your chance, buddy. My turn now on that podium. These guys driving exceptionally out the front here. This battle is still happening. Plenty of cars there looking to make moves. ICMP 15. Sidewood note P14. Just under a second behind Trench Town. Ahead of him. Guys looking to progress into the uh, points positions. Just keeping it consistent, keeping it clean. Still potentially mistakes can be made ahead. To be taken advantage of. And the Corgi is still all over Drunk and Kool-Aid. This battle for the lead. He has got the line though. He's got the inside line through turn one. He has done it. Down the Corgi. Patience is key. He's made his way up into the lead of this race. Only a few minutes to go now. Can he hang on? Drunken Kool Aid will not be happy with that. He'll be wanting to put the hammer down, get that position back. Heads round to the hairpin. Three tenths behind, drunk and Kool Aid in P2. Bit of a gap to P3. P3, nice 
this gap to P4. E5 closing in on Chris. Stonkosaurus in P5 closing in on Chris ahead of him. Dan the Corgi driving that Lexus very well. And a bit of a gap now to Drunken Kool Aid. Seven tenths. Drunken Kool Aid maybe just backing off a bit, managing those tyres, managing the temps, regrouping to make it last, uh, last attack into the final lap or so. Sideward note P14, close behind Trench Town. Alright man, the leader is on the final lap. Give it a final push. There we are guys. Final lap of round one, BOA amateur division race here at Suzuka. We've got Bayside Snake in P17, look to take the AMG ahead of him. Four temps behind. Closing in in that slipstream. Take him. Will he go for the move into the braking zone? Coming up to the chicane now. Sadie's ahead, goes defensive, taking that inside line. But it compromises exit onto the start finish straight. That Merc does have some speed though in a straight line. Drunken Kool Aid then, looking to regain the lead. Lexus having to drive defensive. It's a good exit here. Doesn't want to see that Porsche alongside him. RHM Hammer though, not far behind. He's in P3, he's on the podium, but you can see the two guys ahead battling hard. It's the chicane. Porsche looking to make a move around the outside. Oh, Dan corgi has gone deep into the chicane there. He's outbraked himself. What's he going to do? He's going to let the Porsche through. Great sportsmanship there. He's gone deep. Missed his break on the mark. He's given that position. Drunken Kool-Aid there. Excellent sportsmanship. Top, top, top driver. Red Apple then coming over the line for P6 and some wings in P7. Drunken Kool-Aid is your winner today guys driving that Porsche. Started on pole position. A couple of position changes but he, he's, uh, he's ultimately taken the win there. P8, P9 and P10 coming over the line there. That's Lauren P11, right white Bentley. Neil B coming through, flashing those lights. He's had a good race, he's enjoyed himself it looks like. Trench, where, trench Town, sorry, in P13. Sideward note P14, Sergeant P15. Mixed world then coming over in P19. So there we are, ladies and gents. BOA Amateur Division Round 1 Suzuka. 30 minutes. I can't believe it's done already. So many great battles up and down the uh, grid there. Very clean race as well. I didn't notice any uh, major incidents there, guys. Any offs. The drivers rejoined nicely, I believe. So it's a you know really good race there. Everybody should be uh, should be proud of that. Drunken Kool Aid then P1, Dan the Corgi P2, and Hammer E3 is your podium. Chris in P4, Stonkosaurus P5, Red Apple P6, and some Wings P7. Pancakes in eighth, Hit Bits ninth, Marker Chris ten. 
Vassar 11th, Nilby 12th, Trenchtown 13th, Sidewood Note 14th, Sarge 15th, Bayside Snake 16th, Lost Boy Neo 17th, Guy Z 18th, Mixworld 19th, and Patch P20. So yeah, thank you very much everybody for tuning in for round one, VOA Amateur Division, 30 minutes of Suzuka. Really good racing throughout the grid there. Really enjoyed commentating on that as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and uh, listening to me. I'm off now to prepare for my race. But thanks again, guys. Um, yeah, hope you all had a good Christmas and a happy new year. And uh, yeah, tune in. We've got the uh, pro division starting um, at eight o'clock on the uh, BOA e-racing channel. So uh, head over there, it'll be an hour race uh, with mandatory pit stop. So yeah, thanks again guys, and uh, we'll catch you next week.